Hi guys, I just back and uh, today we're going to do the like a CCPM setup, alright? So remember, uh, it's a really hard part beginning because everybody have a different transmitter and uh, everybody does different ways. So, but what we're going to do? We're going to do the basic. A basic 3d setup for this tiny our heli so it's very important see always remember this is my left hand and this is the head side so if you sit on the table and you can watch my screen you no need to be just get confused exactly because I roll it my video to exactly get the same view watching as doing work so left hand and that's your table so go this way head is this side all right head is in my left so see that this is our left hand side I mean from your heli from my left I mean just think this way put hold head with your left hand side like that okay this is aileron all right this is the aileron servo which one the servo lead see this my aileron servo don't get confused my aileron servo lead come from back here so just take it this way out all right put into in your aileron channel all right then Still hold like that. Now this is the servo here, servo there. So this servo is goes into the aux one. All right. So this servo, because lead is this side, so don't get confused. From here, put in to your transmitter. I'll show you and see aux one on the top we were talking about uh, ccpm setup i think they do say that one all right 120 or something and as we go very simple way so i'll try to make you guys understand and also another server you can see in my hand here is your elevator all right which one move your heli forward and backward so this is here which one you can see this bracket here you know so that's control here with this one at the moment we're going to leave totally the tail setup behind because we're going to work on our this three servo how we can work it out all right so let's get started. First, bind your transmitter. Everything CCF, CPM is set up is same for everybody, I believe. So bind your transmitter to the, your receiver. Plug your speed controller to the throttle. Make sure do not connect with here because it's danger we only work on the server so motor leave alone we'll do later so throttle goes into throttle and then your four three server because i already put this server is also out in so what i'm going to do i'm take it out for you guys so don't get confused so see this is the speed controller and one two three server make sure Put the server in the right way. This is the aileron. This is the aux, but wire goes from back, so don't think this is this one. And there's the <coughs> elevator. So you can put this one now. Now, after I bind it, if you have a DXI, you'll be happy to do see this way, right? And then after bind, you start your transmitter. I'll move my head a little bit because I want to guys show you nicely. I don't know, my head is coming on the screen, but... OK. 
Okay, I'll try to get the perfect I can do. Put my head away because I look really funny. But yeah, what is the line on the side? I don't know, but I'm sure that. Oops, close enough for you to understand. I don't know what is the line up there, but something reflecting in my house. But it's okay. So what do you do? You click your roller. All right. Love it back. Yeah. See this my hand of it so you can do so ah, come on all right click your roller and then you already bind in everything and also you go to the setup list click on the setup then go to the model type choose heli because I already choose the heli because we're going to fly the helicopter and so getting out of that and then you put your model name you can choose now we go to source plate type oops come on because i have to put my hand over i mean head away so it's a little bit hard okay click on the source plate now you can see the ccpm setup 120 all right you go there and you can select anything you like one servo CCM 20 as I think here's only two option guys uh, one two yeah all right no yeah just two option so yeah, you can see so you can choose your CCPM 120 see that this is the three servo type I don't know yeah so you can click because we're looking for uh, 3D. So you click this one and select it and get it out. After that, when you get it out, guys, okay. So I'll put my transmitter on the side. Bring my heli. a little bit of focus so you guys knows what I'm doing so okay this is another server oh, can't put this in horizontal but we'll try my best shot to give you okay you can see this is the aileron now it's very important to take your these two linkages out because when you power up might be you're going to feel very bad so I just take this link out because we're going to do 90 degrees see this one and then also the back one is here the big one is here so you take this one out come on sorry guys just try to show in the video but yep yeah, sometimes I have to move myself out of the video so really sorry here we go so I take these two linkages out before power of our speed controller and transmitter you don't know what will happen so take it out leave like that now again I turn around so you guys don't get confused Now I'm going to power up the uh, transmitter, I mean sorry, receiver, so I can just put the battery in. Is anything happening? Yeah, you can feel the noise. Okay. So see when you transmitter up that's why I see see the servos goes down this 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 that's why I ask you to take the linkers out because you'll make damage on your server see this one here what do you do for the CCM setup first you need to put this your throttle into the middle position can you see middle position now 
I'm going to take off the transmitter just leave like that now we have to work a little bit there so see is here but it's not a, hang on I'll go this way it's not a 90 angle okay so what do you do first you trim if you have the normal transmitter or if you have a DXI I'll just try here to probably see a little bit guys sorry for that I will go into the sub trim yep and I told you guys there was your aileron so you go into the sub trim select your aileron and try and when I move you hopefully you can see a sees move okay I'll try to get my best shot for you guys because a little bit okay so I can see so try to move up see so I put plus 28 it's look very kind for me to around 90 degrees so stop this one all right let me so that's your aileron I'll tell you this one your aux and this is my elevator so see this one oh it's wired there but you can see it's not in 90 degrees so you need to be go up all right so what I'm going to do again see the transmitter and then I will go to the elevator and then try to put plus oh this need to go minus guys so see you hopefully see it just feel like it's close enough so you do it see this is the 90 so that's the 90 degree guys now this is almost 90 so I'm not going to touch anything so leave your aux like that but I think if you choose to do the aux see the aux if you want to make the hang on okay if you want to change with the aux one we which one we put it that's called the pitch so in the transmitter oh come on see if I use the pitch the aux will can get the 90 degrees so so this for the, our pitch when we do the, our pitch setup I'll come and show you guys so you can put but it's 90 I'm not going to do anything because it's 90 for me so just a little bit but yeah that's the 90 degree I can leave in the middle all right so see the, our three servo is all 90 degree and always remember leave your throttle on the middle position so I'll put my transmitter back back to the here okay see this this things called source plate right I mean you can buy the some tool but it's really hard job I mean you can put inside here I'll just show you guys put inside here and then put it and make all 90 de 90 degree I mean very constantly very nicely but at this days I don't have it so uh, we go through see so now always pick up this one here in your rotor and try to do all equal I mean both side this one your aileron and this is your pitch all right so this is your pitch in the pitch is all should be equal all right I mean equal means like 
equal so have a look see this one here in the source plate it should be not one down like that or one up like that no it should be all just like that you can feel it I'm just showing you and like see that's not right here now the question is we all going to do here we go this little bit up 90 degree have a look it comes right my links rod is big so this is really painful I can tell you guys you do not disconnect your server because when you're doing it you or do not disconnect your battery you can move around so now we do the job all right for this link I think what I'm going to do I'm going to take it out from the bottom as well I don't have a all right I'll get the my some more tools which one can help me I think I need to take the totally link out guys I'm really sorry but no choice okay I have to um, sorry for that I have to turn off my transmitter so I can move my sorrow up see like that because link rod is too big so I have to use this here probably you can see to take it out Okay, so I'll just use the hand. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I just take out my link rod. You can see it from here. What I'm going to do see this one here on the bottom point I'm going to screw it up fully okay because I have to I don't have choice so how much was quite big so see how much I can do that much I just screwed up don't screw hard otherwise sometimes it's just going to break so just careful so see this one here I did it all right and Oh, the both side done. So I'll just again go back here. This leave on the 90. Try see how it goes. Let's look. Still looking a little bit high. High for me. I don't know okay we'll do I can't do much okay I can but a little bit more to go see how it goes always oh, screwed up more I think just watch this I mean have a look this kind of you can feel it 90 degree but don't worry it's as you feel it that's enough all right because it's just pushing a little bit this side but still you know because it's all um, if my this uh, what that called holding thing the screw if I put on middle here could be more accurate but ah oh man I don't care 
honestly and then let's see this one here also just a little bit pushing this side because of if I put this bolt on the second one will be really good idea but you never know so next if I have some spare time I honest with you I'll open this and put in this the second second one but you never knows man there shouldn't be any problem I'm not so expert and for the 3d or just you know learning so I thought I'll make a video for you guys so this all done now but the biggest question is hang on turn this one a little bit all right the begin question is 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 the CCPM is working for you all right when you use your elevator push forward see push forward this one it should go forward okay now if I push the go this way oops did I done something or oh. leave this one on the middle guys always okay leave your throttle on the middle oops I dropped something but we'll find later on okay the question is here see this and also the your pitch work together in my behind the hand so if I push down see if I push down this one is a holding wait where is it oh, my try guys sorry see this my and go on oh, I'm getting crazy oh, this one will work okay guys now you can see understand what I'm talking about see this is my aileron all right oops so if I push this one that's supposed to go down and the pitch one supposed to go up so watch here we go so now you can see what happening I push this one down pitch is also going down and if I push other side pitch is also going to down and for if I push forward you can see my rotor is going forward that's right if I push this one forward going backwards okay the problem is there problem is there is this supposed to go down on the pitch not supposed to go on but so how are you going to change it you cannot reverse you want to reverse no you cannot reverse probably reverse work but I'll check first okay so we go to here oops go to all right We'll go and reverse um, how to say it. we go to and reverse um, 